Relatively speaking. Dad? Hey, look what we got. Oh. Who sent that, Wally? Wally already sent us a bassinet, which apparently was owned by Moses. Wow. And was there a note? Uh, what was it? Some delivery girl. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here, once again with another video on The Flash Season 5. So throughout last season of The Flash, obviously that being Season 4, we saw the mystery girl, now revealed as Nora Allen, who is of course the daughter of Barry and Iris, show up at various points throughout the season, starting at the wedding between Barry and Iris, which was during the Crisis on Earth X crossover. And I guess the last proper one was when she delivered that gift to, uh, to Cecile at her baby shower. Now she had shown herself to every member of Team Flash, like we saw that, Apart from maybe Wally, but then Wally did say that, you know, he interacted with her, or at least saw her at the, the wedding, so he should just assume that maybe Wally interacted with uh, Nora there, anyway. But yeah, she interacted with everyone except, of course, her own mother, Iris. Now, this wasn't just a coincidence. Like, she was trying to avoid Iris, which was clear in that last interaction with Cecile when she bailed before Iris could get to the door and, you know, see what was going on. But why was, you know, Nora acting like this? Why didn't Nora Allen want to meet Iris West, her own mother? Well, throughout this video, we will go over a few options of my own, as well as one from Twitter, which was weird, as well as some from some of you guys via the community tab as to why this might be. But do let me know in the comments section down below what you think is going on. I'm interested to hear what everyone thinks as well. Why do you think Nora is, you know, avoiding Iris? And I'd like to hear your opinions or your feedback from the options I do list throughout this video. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and it show support and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But just before we get into those options, we will just go over some comments from producer of The Flash, Todd Helbing, who in an interview around Nora Allen and some other stuff from season five, said a few things. They may not be having a baby in the traditional sense, but they'll be getting a kid nonetheless, thanks to Nora Allen traveling back in time to visit her parents in 2018. Parenthood will put some stress on their relationships according to showrunner Todd Helbing, so expect some squabbles about how best to raise their adult daughter. Not only has Barry and Iris's daughter traveled back from 30 years in the future to meet her parents, she's made a huge mistake that will be the focus of season five when we pick back up with the show. We'll learn why she traveled back in time at very specific moments in season four, but there's no telling if she did major damage with those short visits. She certainly changed the timeline in a big way when she helped Barry take down that crashing satellite in the finale. Now let's jump into those options and the first one we are going to go over is the most likely option in my opinion as it seems well, something that they would most likely happen on the show. Like, this is the one that seems most the flash on the CW that they would go with. And that first option is that Iris from the future. So like what, 60 year old Iris, I guess, because Iris is around 30 years old at the moment and Nora is 30 years old from the future or 30 years from the future. So yeah, maybe 60 year old Iris, like once learning about Nora's abilities, had warned her about the dangers of time travel due to her experiences around Barry. Obviously, Barry is the king of fiddling and messing with the timeline. And what could have happened here, obviously, if this is the case and the old woman Iris has, you know, told Nora not to time travel, Nora has gone against her mother's wishes. And seeing that she tells Barry and the others that she made a big, big mistake, Nora would find it hard to confront her mother and face her after the warning she gave her, because if that's the case, and Nora has made this big, big, big mistake, and old Iris was saying, yo, don't do it, Nora. Well, her mother was right, and she probably feels guilty about that. The next two options actually involve Barry dying. So get your graveyards, your graveyards, your gravestones, tombstones. That's the word I'm looking for. Get them ready. But the first of these and the second option overall revolves around Barry dying sometime in the future after Nora is born. So not like tomorrow, you know, maybe four or five years in the future, but maybe it's at a point where Nora wasn't old enough to really remember her father. And this option goes on that Iris struggled to move on and deal with the loss of Barry. And as we saw at the beginning of season four, Iris wasn't really dealing that well with uh, Barry being in the Speed Force and essentially being dead for the most part. Like you just say that he died. Sure, she had pushed focus to, you know, being a part of Team Flashmore, but as we saw, she wasn't the easiest to deal with to Barry being gone. Like whenever someone brought it up, you know, she was very standoffish and got a bit angry. Obviously, it is a stretch to think that she would be like this to Nora, you know, seeing it's her own daughter, but it is something that would warrant the reaction that Nora was giving Iris at certain points this season. 
And also we've had evidence of it in the past. You know, we saw her do it to Joe, but you got to think, would she do it to her own daughter? You know, you have to weigh up and see whether, you know, you would think that would actually happen. I guess it's just personal opinion. And the other option in regards to Barry dying and it affecting the relationship between both Nora and Iris is that Barry actually does die at the satellite originally, even though I think most of us know that there is an issue there, as I don't see how that makes sense unless Iris was pregnant, because how would Nora have been born? But then again, Todd does say that the satellite incident is the big change in the timeline. So maybe she is trying to stop herself from being deleted from the timeline. Like we've seen on Legends, like this season, we saw them fighting to save Ray Palmer from being deleted from the timeline. So it might be similar to that. Anyway, with this option, seeing that Barry would have died and Nora, you know, would have only grown up with Iris, maybe she was avoiding Iris so that she didn't recall meeting her future daughter when she was younger. This one, once again, is a bit of a stretch, as you would have to take in and believe that Iris would be able to remember seeing her adult daughter X amount of years in the past, and that is if she would have interacted with her a decent amount during that period. So... It's a bit of a stretch, you know, it's a bit of an elongated man to think about that one and believe it, but it's a possibility and it's some, an option that I've seen posted a couple of times. Now, the last option I'm going to go over before I go over some of the more meme or meme options from you guys from the community tab is a fairly stupid and silly one. Now, I know some people would be joking when writing this option because I did see people writing in the community tab, but it's obviously like, you know, a bit ironic and stuff like that, but I saw this option online and the person was 100% serious. Like you could tell this was actually what they thought was going to happen. So I thought I would include it towards the end and just break down why this wouldn't be the case, just in case anyone thought this would be a legitimate option. And this last option that someone posted online is that Iris was a bad mother to Nora in the future. The theory by this online person said that Iris never really had a mother figure in her life, so she wouldn't know what to do as a mother herself, so it would make sense that she may not be, you know, the best mother. They also went on to say that if Barry was supposed to die, Iris would be a single mum and therefore be negligent and not be there for Nora at important moments in her life. In response to this, I actually don't think it would be possible for Iris to be a bad mother due to the reasons that that person put forward, uh, forward might I say. Iris knew what it was like to grow up without a motherly influence. Obviously her mother Francine, I think it was, was that her name? I think it was Francine. She wasn't there, like literally she wasn't there, but also her head wasn't there when she was there. So yeah, Iris never had a good mother figure. So Iris would try and make sure that her child, whether that be a boy or a girl, wouldn't have to go through that. Usually people that go through the bad side of something, whether it's, you know, bad parenthood or bad, you know, a bad childhood, know how to prevent, uh, prevent that and make sure someone else only experiences the good side of that. Also, the most important factor, I think, in all of this is that Iris had Joe as a father. Joe was a G, gangster, original gangster, OG, Pagey, stop saying gangster. We are cringing over here. Okay, I'll stop. But yeah, Joe's the man. That's just the main point. Not only would Iris be a good mother due to his influence, but Joe most likely would be there as well to help raise Nora and just be an influence himself. So I don't think Nora's reaction towards Iris will come down to Iris being a bad mother or being distant. I think it's more going to come from Nora being a rebel and just being, well, I can do it. I can, I'm stubborn. I can do what I want. We know that in season five, one of the cliffhangers is going to be Barry and Iris dealing with their child when their child is their age, which I think is going to be weird. Some people were pointing out that maybe they should have gone, you know, Bart Allen age for Nora from Young Justice. And with this, I mean, like make her around a teenage age, whether that be 15 or 18 or even just 20, they could make it that old. But it seems that this Nora is around that between 25 and 30 years of age, around the age of Iris and Barry. And people were suggesting that maybe they should just gone with that teenage aged, uh, you know, Nora, just so the characters weren't so similar. But I'm guessing there must be a reason for that. Like they want Nora to be around the same age as Barry and Iris. You know, they must have a reason as to why they're doing that. Because obviously that younger child option would be the easier option, but we'll have to wait and see what they do with that because obviously they've planned it to be that way. But yeah, as I said, here are the uh, the more meme tier options that some of you put in the community tab as to why Nora would have been avoiding Iris. The first one comes from Red Hood who said, because she prefers Snowberry over West Allen. The second one comes from Luminosity who said, Iris wasn't the mother, which is a very Maury Povich, is that his name? Option, like you are not the father. Well, Iris, you are not the mother. And the last one comes from I thought it said Trump's dog, but it's Trump, Trump's dog with an N, Trump's with an N. Whoever knows how to pronounce that, go ahead, pronounce it. And they just wrote bad writing, which, well, we're used to that a couple of times, so that could be the case. 
But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on the stuff I went over in this video. Why do you think Nora is avoiding Iris? Do you think it's Iris's fault? Or do you think it's something down to Nora, something uh, that Nora's done? Do you think it comes down to something like that, such as going against Iris's, you know, warnings and traveling back in time and messing stuff up, just like maybe old woman Iris might have said? Just leave all of your opinions downstairs in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.